everyone, and welcome to another edition of Community Works. I'm Bernadette Welsh, your host. Each one of our shows highlights a local nonprofit agency in our area. Our goal is to educate you, our viewers, about the great work that's going on all around us every day by local agencies and their supporters. When people help their neighbors, everybody benefits. Well, the focus of today's show is the amazing organization called Dress for Success. Their affiliate is the Mid-Fairfield County one of Dress for Success. And the other thing we're going to talk about is how another organization called Clear Vision Productions, through their Fun Girls Night Out, supports Dress for Success. So it's a, going to be a great show all about how these two organizations work together. So I'd like you to welcome my guests, Sarah Lewis, from the director of Dress for Success, Mid Fairfield County. Right. <laughs> <laughs> thank you for being on the show. Well, thank you for having me. You're most welcome. And Charlene Charo, who is the owner of Clear Vision Productions. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome, Charlene. I'm just so happy to do this because it's all about women helping women, right? It is. It is. Abs absolutely. So, Sarah, I'd like to start with you, if you don't mind. If you could give us a little bit of history, a little bit of mission. I mean, explain to our viewers viewers dress for success? Sure. So a lot from the name there. Um, our mission is to empower women to achieve economic independence. And we do that by providing a network of support, professional attire for interviews and new jobs, and development tools to help them thrive and work in life. So Dress for Success is actually an international organization. So we have 156 affiliates in 30 countries around the globe. Um, our local Dress for Success is in Bridgeport. We serve all the way from Greenwich to New Haven. Um, and we're the Mid-Fairfield County affiliate. So the first Dress for Success was actually started in 1996 in uh, Spanish Harlem. There was a law student who had a $5,000 inheritance from her grandfather, and she wanted to do something to give back to the community. So she realized that there was a real need for women who were going on interviews, maybe working for the first time, and didn't have the right professional attire or access to the right professional attire. So she started a really small community closet in the basement of a church in Spanish Harlem and it's grown over the last 20 some years to be a huge organization that's helping women all over the world. Amazing. And we don't call them closets anymore, right? We're now there. That's right. So we call them Dress for Success Boutiques. Oh, I love it. So they're very empowering environments. Yes. Um, as I'll, we'll talk about a little bit later, all of the clothing is donated, but we want women to feel like they're shopping in a department store. Yes. Not that it's a charity. Exactly. I mean, anything that you can give dignity back to someone, Absolutely. I think is empowering for, for all people. Absolutely. For all people. So that's very important. So what, you allude to your programs in the first thing that you were saying, but Sarah, what are your main programs? So obviously, as you can tell from the name, we, we do a lot of clothes. Yes, um, yes. So our uh, professional boutique, we call it Simply Suited, our Simply Suited program. Oh, I like that, Simply Suited. <laughs> yeah, so we, um, we work with about 115 different agencies across the region who refer women to us when she has a upcoming interview or a new job or is entering a training program or internship. So really anything that has to do with building a career. Um, so she'll come into our boutique and work one-on-one -on -one with a personal shopper who's a volunteer uh, and their job is to walk the client around the boutique and help them find the appropriate outfits. Um, after that point, when she gets the job, she's eligible to come back in for an entire week's worth of clothing to start her new job. Oh, that's awesome. I didn't mm. know that at all. Yes, oh. and we do We do try to do the entire outfit, so things you, our donors usually don't think about, such as shoes and handbags and jewelry, um, new undergarments are all things that mm -hmm. are provided, mm -hmm. hygiene items if they're in stock. Um, after she's gained employment, she's invited to join our professional women's group. That's our employment retention program. So um, some of the women don't have very large professional networks. Maybe they've been underemployed or unemployed for a long period of time. So the professional women's group exists to get women together who are all dealing with the same things of being in a new job. Uh, we have a light dinner together, do a networking period, and then have a volunteer guest speaker come talk about different workplace topics. So everything from how to manage conflict at work, 
work, how to ask for a raise, um, leadership skills. Um, so that's been a really wonderful program for us. Um, very beneficial. They describe it as a sisterhood. So it's it's a really tight knit group of women. I like that idea of a sisterhood. I, I really do. It is. It, it is. is. It is a sisterhood. Um, another program is our financial literacy program. So now you're finally making money. How do you manage that money? How do you save for retirement or whatever your financial goals are? How do you reach those? So we have a six month financial literacy program that's pretty intensive. They work one on one with a coach and they set three financial goals. Goals, um, and work on you know with the coach achieving those goals. Are the go coaches volunteers? Are all the, the women who help the other women who are not clients are they volunteers? They're or? not. They're staff members. They're actually. staff members. Okay, um, that's good to know. All of our other programs know. run uh, through volunteers, but um, the coaching for the financial stuff is actually paid. But I think that's a very positive thing because these are true professionals. Right. They are true professionals. It's not just well. It's co cohesive advice. <laughs> yes. Yes. And it's very worthwhile and important advice to help them to stay employed and right. to help them to finance use their money properly. Right. Right. Exactly. That's like winning the lottery and then you go blow it in a week. Right. I and mean, you know, it, it, it not can too happen smart. to anyone. <laughs> right. Not too smart. Okay. Well, Charlene, thank you for being so patient. But we have one uh, more question yeah, for, no, that's for, great. Um, for Sarah here because um, here we are. And this lovely mannequin, can we show the mannequin on the screen? There she is. <laughs> Sarah, could you tell us why we have this mannequin here on the sure. set? Sure. Well, I brought my friend today um, just to make sure that folks at home, if they are interested in donating clothing, um, could see the type of things we're looking for. So we are looking for full suits and professional attire. So what you would wear to an interview is what we're looking for. Right. Uh, because we do those different types of suiting, so sometimes you need business casual things for your first day of work. Work. Yes. Um, we do take business professional and business casual. So think khakis, uh, cardigans, sweaters, things like Got that. Got that. Simple, simple skirts. Um, exactly. Dresses that are not too wild and crazy. We're not doing the wild and crazy. We're doing right. kind of like what we're wearing on the set today. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Would be what somebody would be wanting to wear to work. Exactly. And we do. We have sizes from zero to thirty-two. So we want to make sure that everyone walks out with what they need. Excellent. Um, so. So we take all sizes um, and seasons. Very good. So it's also the shoes. If they wanted to bring brand new undergarments, that's okay. Or maybe Absolutely. that's something. Absolutely. That would be great. Or that you would purchase with cash donations. Exactly. Yes. Mm -hmm. Very good. Okay, so that gives us a little overview. So now, Charlene, you've been so patient. <laughs> I'm so happy about that. So now, I'd love for our viewers to know exactly how Clear Vision Productions' Fun Girls Night Out mm -hmm. supports Dress for Success. Well, for the past six years, we have chosen Dress for Success as our charity of choice for the event. And... Um, we partner with different chapters in every market that we go to. Um, here in Connecticut, we partner with Sarah and her team. And um, what we ask the ladies to do is bring a gently used handbag um, or tote, a business tote bag that, that we can help fill the boutique with. Excellent. Um, and typically we get anywhere from 100 to, um, you know, one event that we did, we had over 400 bags that women brought. So. Um, they exactly. are, yeah. <laughs> so, ta-da, ta-da. This is kind of what we're talking about, right? Mm -hmm. It's black, it's big, mm -hmm. or it could be smaller, yep. but this is the kind of pocketbook. I'm going to donate this pocketbook, um, handbag, Rala, mm -hmm. to the organization, but this is the kind of thing that we are, we're looking for, yes? Yes. Very good. Okay, yeah. so I just thought I'd brag a little bit. Yeah. All right. yeah. Okay, so go ahead, Charlene. I'm uh, yeah, so sorry. Or, you know, people, I couldn't resist you that. You know, everyone carries around a tote bag now, you yes. know, like a nice kind of briefcase tote bag yes. that the ladies can take on their interview and put their resumes and their notebooks and binders and things like that. And so we always love those, too, because those are so helpful. Excellent. Excellent. Yeah. So um, in terms of... Like why? Why did you decide to do this, Charlene? Is it a personal thing for you? Do, does it just touch your heart in some kind of a, a special way? Well, it does. You know, um, I wanted to choose. You know, the name of the event is Fun Girls Night Out, and so for the first few years, I kind of struggled with what kind of charity to partner with. But I really was always looking for a charity that empowered women, 
and wasn't about sickness, but actually lifted women up. And, yes. and the ladies who come to our events are always so generous. Um, and so we, we thank them all for, you know, what they've done in the past. Um, and we just, you know, everyone loves Dress for Success. I mean, everyone knows about it. And sometimes people want to bring clothes. And it's like, <laughs> no, we just need a pocketbook today. <laughs> today we you know? need a pocketbook. Yes, and, today we uh, need a pocketbook. And it's always fun. It's fun to have yes. them. And it's, it's you know, just a, it's a great feeling to be able to give back to somebody else. And, you know, the women who come to our event always want to do more. Mm -hmm. um, but they don't realize what that handbag or that tote bag actually does for somebody else. And so we want to get that across today that it's really important to, you know, give back. It is indeed. Mm -hmm. I, I really I really do feel that women don't always know how to help. They mm -hmm. want to and they don't know how to help. And what right. your event is doing is showing women how mm -hmm. they can help. So I think that that's just a great concept. Girls' Night Out, we're going to put on the bling, but it's really for empowering women to be their best selves mm -hmm. and to get back into the workforce and not have to be asking for help. They're mm -hmm. going to help themselves, mm -hmm. right? Exactly. So I think that that's awesome. Yeah. So I'm, I'm so we're going to talk more about yeah. uh, Fun Girls' Night Out, but I did want to let the viewers know why you feel that your mm -hmm. Clear Vision Productions organization chose Dress for Success and has for so many years. Yeah, and you know, it's always too, Sarah and her team are always at our event. Um, they have a table at the event. So they can actually connect with the women who um, come to our event. And, you know, they can ask questions and they can find out more and they can take brochures back to their friends and see how else that they can help. No, it's so that great awareness for us. I mean, mm -hmm. we get in front of a large audience. We're able to answer questions. People are asking, how can I donate more? How can I get involved? So, I mean, they've been just a huge supporter, always having us involved and in front of such a great group of women. And I think, too, is then, again, the visibility of all of those ladies being at the event mm -hmm. and having so many tables to go to and things to do. So they're, it's like they're putting on the bling, but mm -hmm. they're helping, helping women. And yeah. if you didn't have something like this, it would be hard to get the word out, wouldn't it? And Absolutely. You'd, yeah, you'd have to pay for a lot of advertising or things that do. You don't want to spend the organization's money that way. Right. Right. So right on, Charlene. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> we have fun, too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, no, of course, I'm, I'm done. We are all having so much fun. We don't, we don't, we would definitely want to have fun. Okay, so thank you, Charlene. I'm going to go back to you, Sarah, because now I'd like to get our audience to, to hear about a success story. So we've been talking around empowering women and mm -hmm. lifting women up, but if you could take it away with a success story, Sarah, that'd be awesome. Sure. So I first want to mention um, that we see such a variety of women walk through our doors. So it's not just people who are going through really difficult circumstances like homelessness or domestic violence. It's also just people who've maybe been out of the workforce for a while and need a hand up. Um, the specific story I had in mind is someone who's, who's very, very special to me. Um, she came in three years ago. She was uh, two months sober uh, in recovery. Okay. She was living in a homeless shelter with her son. Mm -hmm. um, and an or agency had helped her get an interview for a temporary position uh, in Bridgeport. And she came into the boutique and was just such a joy to work with. Um, and she found a beautiful outfit that was perfect for her. Uh, and she described that as her, her Cinderella moment. So her Aww. fairy godmother, her personal shopper Aww. there, um, you know, helping her find what made her feel good and made her shine. Um, so she went on the interview. She called us back a couple days later. She got the temp job. So she came back for her, her five outfits. Um, and she did join our professional women's group wasn't too long before she went from temp to permanent um, and you know we celebrated that quite a bit um, she just kept staying involved yeah. uh, in the professional women's group and she networked with other women and she just kept coming back um, and when an opportunity came up for a scholarship to go back to school through Dress for Success Worldwide, our parent organization, um, she wrote a fantastic essay about what the scholarship would do for her in her life and her son's life. Uh, and so she was awarded a $6,000 scholarship wow. to go back to school. Wow, wow, that's awesome. It was amazing. Um, and so she's pursuing her um, associates in business at Housatonic Community College right now while oh. working full time. 
And uh, she was also chosen as our um, 2019 success delegate. Uh, so she traveled to a leadership conference with um, all the other Dress for Success affiliates to learn leadership skills. Oh. And so now she's giving those back to the oh, community. And, that's and she's a leader. Amazing. That's amazing. So she's bringing other women up. You know, yeah. she's, she's not just climbing to the top. She's, she's holding her hand out, too. You see, and that's what I think women do. Mm -hmm. I think women do say thank you and now how can I help? Mm -hmm. And the fact that she's staying around and learning more and networking, she gets it. Mm -hmm. Which also is a compliment to your organization because obviously you had to teach her about that, right? Mm -hmm. So that is, that's just super terrific. That's just super terrific. So, so if you could imagine a success story that maybe you could participate in Fun Girls Night Out or we're going to talk about the website. Think about you contributing to some wonderful woman's success and the success of her being able to take care of her son. I, I can't think of anything better than that. Okay, so now, um, where are we? Oh, Sarah, the website. The website. <laughs> the website. So at the end, we're going to put the website up. Great. But if I were to go there right now to... Okay, what is it? What is the thing? And then because we'll show it later. But the website is midfairfieldcounty.dressforsuccess.org. You got it. You remember. Uh -huh. I read it. <laughs> <laughs> what will we find if we go there? So you're going to find everything about us. Yes. Um, all the ways you can get involved, the ways you can support us. So if you have a lot of time, not a lot of resources, come in and volunteer with us. Um, you know, we can use everyone's gifts in the boutique. Or um, I know Charlene's going to come mm -hmm. speak to our professional women's group soon. Um, so we'll use your talents where you are. If you want to help. Well, there's a place for you. Um, if you don't have a lot of time, there's several things you can do. Uh, you can donate money. We are a privately funded organization, mm -hmm. uh, so we rely on those private donations and events like Charlene's to get the word out and raise money for our organization. Um, or donating the clothes, the accessories. Really yes. need right now the larger sizes of yes. clothing, larger size shoes, and then also on the other side, the really small clothes. Um, so handbags, jewelry, accessories, and hygiene items are always, they fly off the shelves. So oh, if you have those sitting at home, that's a huge way you can help. Very good. And if you go to the website, the website's going to direct you to do that. You can push the button to donate. But if you don't, again, if you don't have the time and you have some money or you have, don't have the money, you have the time, um, Sarah's organization is going to help uh, fix you with get you connected with this great uh, great organization well that's really cool Thanks. so we will, should all go to the website and play around there okay so now charlene we are going to talk about <laughs> fun girls night out so we have a graphic up here tickets are on sale now um at the website fun girls night out talk to us about this amazing event well um this event was created 11 years ago actually up in boston and um, we expanded through Connecticut into um, New York, Northern Jersey, and Long Island. Um, so it's been really fun um, for us, you know, as an organization to be able to connect with so many women um, in the tri-state area and up in Boston and to help all the different Dress for Success um, chapters as we travel, you know, along every year. Um, the event is, um, it's, it was designed to... Um, just be really fun for women of all ages, from 21 to 81, um, because we all kind of do the same things with our girlfriends. You know, we go out, we have a drink, we go out to eat, we get dressed up, and we love... We get our nails done. Yeah, we get done, our nails done. We put on the bling. That's right. <laughs> you know, and um, I always say it's everything from fashion, fitness, health and wellness, and things for your home, so, and everything in between. So, um, when ladies come to our event, they'll get a little pink bag like this. Okay, very good. And um, it's always filled with all kinds of product samples and goodies and special offers. Um, we usually have around 35 to 40 vendors that um, ladies can go from booth to booth and, you know, they can either buy stuff, they can get free little beauty makeover treatments. Um, there's always free stuff all over the place and candy that they can pick up along the way. Great. Um, this year, at what's going to be at Woodwinds uh, in Brantford. And yes. so... Um, They'll have a, a full buffet dinner um, oh, available. Oh, okay, they're going to have a full buffet dinner. Yeah. That's great. So, um, you know, in the past we kind of only had samples, 
and so now we'll have a full dinner, and, and it'll be in stations all around the room, so oh, you can kind great. of eat Having as a much full as you dinner want. Is so, because you, you forget to eat, right? You run from work, you right. run to the event, oh my goodness, I'm starving, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and then how can you have fun if you're starving? That's right. So if you only eat the candy, you're going right. to get a sugar brush. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> so you want to have some decent right. food to eat. Oh, that's a great yeah. idea. And we always have a signature drink, and we'll have drink samples along the way, and we have psychic readers, and photo booth photos and um, backdrops all over the place to take photos. So it's really, really a fun event for people. I can't imagine yeah. having more fun than that. Yeah. I mean, because again, it is for Dress for Success, and so we're not losing track of that. Mm -hmm. But there are other women who also earn their living by selling jewelry. They might do doTERRA oils. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's all kinds of things that women do to support themselves so it helps stress for success, but you're also coming and you're going to be supporting women vendors mm -hmm. who run their own business too. And I think that's kind of cool. Yes. And I don't think that uh, dress for success minds that at no, all. No, it's right? a great culmination of you know everything about women helping women. It, it shows up at the event. Mm -hmm. So we like that. There's even going to be dancing, right? There you is. You know, Charlene, yeah. I love dancing. Um, be dancing. Yeah, and this year we have the Timmy Maya Band coming in. So we normally oh, wow. always had a DJ, and now we have a band, so we'll have live entertainment. Oh, that's yeah. awesome. And we've also added in um, a fashion show. And the fashion show is going to be with the ladies that were helped and the success stories from Dress for Success. Oh. And the clothes will all be from their boutique. Oh, that's so yeah. amazing. Yeah. So ladies are all, oh, that's just yeah. so great. How could you not yeah. want to be at this event? That's right. And they'll tell their stories, too. So we'll be able to meet them, and they'll, you know, have a couple of minutes each to talk about their stories and how Dress for Success helped them. So I always feel that it's important for people to know where their donation is going and, Absolutely. and how how they can help and what a difference um, you know their help made okay yeah. all right so now we're gonna see a really cool fun girls night out video mm -hmm. and my wonderful friends in the control booth <laughs> are gonna make it happen right okay so ladies and gentlemen the video for fun girls night out helping in support of dress for success here we go I love the Dress for Success program. It's a wonderful program and it helps women out and I, I really believe in it. I had no idea of the variety that this would offer. First Girls Night Out? Yes. How are you liking it? I love it. It's a lot of fun. Um, Come with my sister. The tattoos, the yeah. hair, everything was good. Yeah. Vendors are awesome. The entertainment's great, a great production. I think this is one of the best. It's our first time here, we're loving it. Meeting a lot of new people, nice prizes. It was more than I expected. It was fantastic, it was awesome. I had a lot of fun. I would come again in a heartbeat. I like the whole the environment. The food is awesome. I'm having a blast. Girls, if you're not here, you're missing out. Come, join the fun. <laughs> the photo was perfect. <laughs> Salsa dancing, that was cool. Wow, was that <laughs> a fabulous video or what? It gave all the elements of Fun Girls Night Out. It talked about just for success, it had the jewelry, the nails, the dancing, uh, the drinks. It was great. Of course, we're not going to let anybody drive. We're going to call Uber if we have to. That's right. Yes, this insurance agent doesn't let anybody <laughs> do that. But we're, we're going to have such a great time. And thank you for sharing that video with us, uh, Charlene, Sarah. Do you have anything you want to add to what are we, just my crazy reaction to yeah. that fun video? <laughs> <laughs> well, our um, tickets are online. Oh, and that's important. Yeah, and they're on sale until August 16th, um, fungirlsnightout.com. Okay, mm -hmm. so that's where we need to go for that. Mm -hmm. That's very important. Mm -hmm. So if you don't, just Google it, right? Fun Girls Night Out. It's very easy, mm -hmm. and it'll take you right there, and you can buy your tickets. 
Um, can we share how much the tickets are? They're probably very reasonable. Mm -hmm. So if you um, buy a girlfriend four pack, yes. um, tickets are $25 each. Perfect. Um, if you decide that you want a VIP ticket, they're yes. a little bit more, but you also get a much bigger bag. Oh, look at the bigger bag. And, you um, get the bigger bag. Yeah, and we also will, you'll also get a tiara and a boa. Oh, and just like just see like the tiara. You get so the, there's the VIP treatment yep. right there, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. All right. That's great. Yeah. Oh, that's great. That's just so blinking exciting. I can't <laughs> wait. <laughs> Could it be tomorrow? Is it yeah. tomorrow? <laughs> no, it's not tomorrow. It's so August 22nd yes. at Woodwinds, at, and it goes from mm -hmm. 5 to 9. Mm -hmm. So after work, you're going to get fed. So after work, head on over to Woodwinds. There's the graphic right on the screen that you're looking at to come to, for a girl, fun girls' night yeah. out. Oh, and I can't think of a better reason why we shouldn't do this. Um, okay, so... Um, I think we've really covered most of what we want to cover, but I thought maybe we would chat just for a wee bit about that empowerment piece. Mm -hmm. So can you remember a time when you maybe you felt a little bit like you needed support and there was somebody there for you, somebody there that, that you knew, whether it's your mom mm -hmm. or your sister or a girlfriend, and some women don't have that. Okay, some women they've lost touch with their families. There's been some dysfunction. Sometimes they they just don't know how to reach out, and so the whole idea of empowerment is indeed that reaching out. And I I can't think of anything more important. I I have in my professional life met many women who don't feel that they have power. And then they allow people to take advantage of them because they don't feel that self-worth that many of us ladies were raised with. You're loved, you're valued, you're important, and you're going to be successful. So to me, Dress for Success and Fun Girls Night Out is just that part of giving some of these gals that might not have the support that they need some needed support. And then they join a network and they, they, can re they reconnect with the community. So I think, I think that that really says kind of what empowerment means. Can mm -hmm. you add, because you've been doing this for so many years, Sarah, what do you think? Yeah, I mean, you know, even, even for me, um, as a younger professional, just getting out of college, I needed those female mentors, like people who cared what happened to me in my career mm -hmm. and could say, you know, don't do that, do that. You know, my, my grandma bought my first suit. Not everyone has a grandma who can mm -hmm. who can do that's that. The so point. that's that's why we're here, um, and you know, being very fortunate to have that experience, we want to make sure that every woman gets that experience, and that not only that, that she gets the suit, but that she gets to talk to someone about how she's feeling about that interview, right, right. how she's feeling about the new job. She has questions about her paycheck and her benefits. There needs to be somebody else there for her. Um, to help her along the way. So I think, you know, that's why it's so important. Very good, because mm -hmm. that's the point I wanted to make. All right, so they're telling me, they're talking in my ear. They're telling me that we have to say goodbye. I'm so sad. Um, so thank you for watching uh, this edition of Community Works uh, with Charlene and Sarah, with Clear Vision Productions, Fun Girls Night Out, with Dress for Success. Thank you so much for uh, showing up, you. ladies, and being a part of thank our you. show. We're going to share the show with people mm -hmm. so that they can um, know about your organization and know about Fun Girls Night Out. Um, we're going to show the website. We're going to say goodbye. And um, oh, I know what I wanted to say. So here's the thing I learned recently. When you smile, your whole body feels good. It does. So that's what we're going to do at Girls Night Out. We're going to smile so much it's going to hurt, <laughs> but it's not. It's going to, we're all going to feel great. Mm -hmm. So thank you very much. We'll see you again real soon. I'm Bernadette Welsh for Community Works. See ya. Bye. Bye-bye. Wave goodbye. Oh, we didn't put on our tiaras. Oh, well. That's all right. This is more important.